right, hey guys, so I wanna try something out that's a little bit different for grocery hauls today. Um, a little, so, I, wanna, <laughs> I wanna try something different for my, for my style of grocery hauls today. So I'm going to try it out and you guys can let me know what you think of it. Um, Nikki Philippi does it this way and I'm gonna try and kinda do it like she does, where she goes through and really shows what she got. So uh, I'm gonna start out with the refrigerated items, that way I can put them away. Um, I'm making, salad for my mother-in-law's birthday tonight and dessert. I'm making a peanut butter pie. Um, and so I'm gonna show you guys a few ingredients that you'll see from for those things, but also um, just my weekly groceries. And then also some prepping, stocking up my pantry kind of stuff for emergencies or just whatever, you know, just good stuff to have for times of financial or whatever, you know, struggles or issues. So anyway, starting out, I'm getting two things of cream cheese. I think I only needed one, but I got two to be safe, so I wouldn't have to go back to the store, hopefully, um, for this dessert. So two things of cream cheese, um, which right now it looks like this is backwards in the screen, but I just checked, and I think when you guys watch this video, it won't look backwards. I hope not. If so, I will change that next time. But anyway, so I got those. I got a thing of Cool Whip. Actually, it's Kroger brand whipped topping. Whipped topping. <laughs> um, I don't know, do you guys enunciate the H in things like whipped very well? I just say, I don't. I just say like whipped, not whipped. Anyway, is that even a thing that anyone does or is that just a joke? I don't really know. Um, I got pork sausage. Okay, I'm gonna sound like an idiot here. Does this taste good when you put it in spaghetti? Because I was thinking of Italian sausage, but they didn't have Italian seasoned sausage in Kroger brand. Um, and I didn't want to spend the money on the Bob Evans kind. So I think I'm just gonna do pork sausage with my spaghetti and then I'll add in more like Italian seasonings with this. I don't know. If not, I'll just use it for breakfast stuff. Um, I'll do some research. And then I also got seasoned fries. We're having um, people over for before our small group tomorrow night for dinner, um, Luke's discipleship group. And so I got some fries to feed hopefully all of us. There really aren't that many in here, but we can each just take a little amount. Um, burgers and curly fries for dinner tomorrow. And then um, is what that's for, but anyway. <laughs> I don't know how to talk sometimes. I got just plain original pulp free orange juice to make smoothies with and to drink. Luke likes just drinking something other than water every single night for some reason. <laughs> um, lactose free milk for Luke for his cereal. I also use it in my lattes and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's the cold thing. Those are the cold things and I'm going to actually stop so this. So I got bananas. I'm gonna move into produce now. I got some bananas for smoothies. Um, some romaine hearts for salad tonight and maybe just salad for us too. Um, which I also got kale, just for us. Um, and then I got two sweet potatoes. I'll take them out of the bag. I know that's something that I usually do is just leave things in the bag, but this way you can actually see two little sweet potatoes. I didn't actually meal plan very well, but I just, these last forever, like they stay good for a while and um, they're good on their own or in like burritos and chili and they're just, they're really good to have. So um, those are the sweet potatoes. I got organic white mushrooms on clearance for $1.49, um, pre-sliced, and we just love mushrooms. They're good, roasted up in a pan on their own with some oil and some salt, or um, I put them in lasagna or pasta bakes. Um, they're just, they're delicious, so don't need to explain what I'm doing with mushrooms, I guess. Um, blueberries, just to eat, but also maybe in a smoothie. Um, and then a red onion for the salad tonight and just for, you know, onion. <laughs> um, and then, oh, let me take this out of the bag too. I got one little Roma tomato for the salad tonight. Um, it's kind of an Italian salad. I don't know if these are really the best to put in salads or if it's better just to get like one of those hot house tomatoes, like a standard tomato, but I bought a Roma tomato. Um, I think it was actually a little bit cheaper, so whatever. Um, that's it for produce and then Moving on to other things, I got hamburger buns for burgers tomorrow night. There's only eight buns and there are 10 burger patties, but I'll eat my burger without a patty if I have to. Um, and these were on clearance for 80 cents. And as far as I could see, there wasn't any mold on them. Usually there isn't on the clearance bread. They usually check that I think, but um, just in case, always check if you're buying bread on clearance, make sure that it's good. Um, I also got flour tortillas to make some quesadillas with. And quesadillas are just so good for lunch, for dinner, for a snack. Um, croutons, the cheese and garlic kind. And I've noticed the Kroger brand croutons seem to taste a lot better. They've also rebranded the packaging recently. Anyway, so I got those. Um, I got this for the dessert tonight, the peanut butter pie. 
Um, it's just a graham cracker crust. They said to get an Oreo crust and they didn't have any. And I was getting really frustrated um, and couldn't, that I couldn't find one. So I just went with the graham cracker crust. I think it'll be just fine. And then these yellow corn tortilla chips were on clearance. They are organic. So if I can find something organic on clearance, I usually get it. Um, but if it's not on clearance, then I don't normally buy that much organic. Um, but these were 99 cents. And then um, I also got these toasted flakes with real strawberries. Um, these were not on clearance, but they're a little bit healthier maybe because they have freeze-dried strawberries in them. Um, Luke loves cereal and I thought this would be something good and different. I usually get him like um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Cheerios. And then I don't have any cooking spray. And so I got some coconut oil cooking spray because I thought that would be a little bit healthier maybe. Um, vegan, gluten-free, propellant-free. Okay, <laughs> this isn't bug spray. Anyway, but I know what they mean. But anyway, yeah, so got some of this. And also, it is my mother-in-law's birthday today, as I've said, so I got her a card. Um, and I also got a card for my best friend. It is her birthday on Sunday. So Jordan, if you see this, happy birthday! Ah! Uh, I don't know why my voice got so high there, but happy birthday, Jordan. I'm so excited that it's your birthday. She is the best thing since sliced bread. So anyway, she's really sweet. And yeah. Um, <laughs> so are you, Joy, if you're watching this. Anyway. <laughs> um, and then taking you back to my other things. Um, some of this was planned, some wasn't. Anyway, let's just get into it. I kind of put this stuff back here because it's very like stocking up the pantry kind of items. So I got two boxes of Annie's mac and cheese. I got just the yummier than ever classic cheddar kind. Um, two boxes of that. And I got, I bought, not got, um, I bought Belgian waffle and pancake mix. So with our groups and our dinners and things like that for a lot of people, um, breakfast dinners are always a good option. They're cheaper, just like a nice go-to. We have a waffle maker. That's also why I got the spray was for making waffles in our waffle iron, waffle maker um, thing. So I got the cheap mix for everyone. And then I got the, I bought the um, fancy, uh, oh, I thought this was Kodiak. Shoot. This is not what I wanted. I wanted to buy the Kodiak protein pancakes, but these are the crust. Crusties, I don't know how you say it. I don't think it's actually pronounced crusties, but that's kind of how it looks. Um, anyway, these are their protein flapjack and waffle mix. Um, they have 15 grams of protein per serving and four grams of fiber. And I mean, as long as they're decent, that's all that matters. But I thought I was gonna get the Kodiak brand and actually got this. Um, the ingredients are whole grain wheat flour, wheat protein isolate, sugar leavening, which is baking soda, blah, blah, blah. Um, salt, soybean oil, whey protein isolate, and buttermilk and natural flavors. So anyway, I'm not sure if these are really that much healthier, but I thought, you know what, when we eat pancakes for dinner, just Luke and I, or waffles. But moving on, they have a ton of vegetable broth on clearance, and it is all good until December of this year, and I will definitely use it up before December because it's only February 7th today. Um, so anyway, it is the Simple Truth Organic Vegetable Broth, fat-free. It was on clearance for 99 cents. Um, this is usually $2, so it was basically $1 then. Um, so I bought three of them. And yeah, does the one, oh, the one is $1.29. That's ridiculous, okay. And it expires a day sooner. Okay, come on Kroger. I already bought them, I'm not gonna bother going back, but that is ridiculous. Um, I'm a little upset by that, what in the world? Anyway, this is really good just to have on hand to make soups, to make all kinds of meals, um, or to include in all kinds of meals. And also, uh, especially in rice and quinoa, it is really good to make it with broth instead of water. It just adds a lot more flavor. Um, and the veggie broth keeps it from being, you know, it could make a meal vegetarian or vegan instead of um, being whatever. So <laughs> instead of just not. Um, so that's what those were all about. And then I'm getting towards the end guys. Sorry, this is so long. You probably don't like this. Um, I got two cans of pinto beans, two cans of black beans. I'm stocking up my pantry, getting ready, like I said, for just power going out, whatever. I mean, not that I'm really going to just open a can of beans and eat them when the power goes out, but it's just good for the pantry. You know, I make a lot of chili. I make a lot of beans and rice, burrito type things. And so, um, it's good for that. And 
I got four cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. I put this in my chili or sometimes in those in my black bean sweet potato burritos. And also four cans of diced peeled tomatoes. These come in handy as well. So that is what I got. I will show you guys. Um, I had my coffee maker as my little prop there, my stand. So that's what I got as well as the items that are in the refrigerator already. Um, so that is my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will check out Ibotta. Um, if I get any, if I receive any cash back besides like 25 cents or 10 cents or whatever their standard, you bought something, <laughs> here's what you get. And if I get more than that, then I will try to include it somehow in here. I also bought this and I had to include it because it's amazing that I also got, also bought this, um, including everything else for $60. Like, yeah, anyway, um, this kitchen scrubber, heavy duty, scotch bright wand, um, it was like a dollar and something. It was a closeout deal, so I guess they aren't going to be carrying this anymore, um, or this exact one anyway. So I thought it was incredible that it was like, I think it was a dollar ninety-five. I'll double check here in a second, but um, yeah, I just I thought that was incredible and a great deal, so I had to include that. Um, but my total was sixty dollars and ninety-five cents. So basically sixty dollars sixty-one, and it says I saved six dollars thirty cents. Um, and yeah, I got birthday cards. I bought a lot of things I wasn't planning on, like for dessert um, and for this extra salad for um, tonight. So, and I got, I bought things to kind of prepare for future meals, stock in my pantry, whatever. Um, and so all of that still came out to only $60, which I think is pretty good. Um, I do want to buy some big jugs of bottled water um, to have on hand along with some other items like these cans <laughs> um so anyway i will be looking into those things and what else i should buy um probably buying rice in bulk pasta sauce um and then things that i could actually eat in a power outage because i'm not just going to drink a can of pasta sauce in a power outage although honestly that doesn't sound too bad there could be a lot worse of things okay i've talked for too long love you guys see you later thank you for watching have a great day god bless and bye